what's going on guys welcome back to my channel this is your boy trey bryant and i'm back to bring you i think this video you could call it maybe a lifestyle and fitness video kind of a little bit but as you guys saw in the thumbnail for 30 days a straight month i did 300 push-ups every day now i will say that i missed a couple days because sometimes we all aren't perfect and i actually went through a situation where you guys will see later in the video of why I wasn't able to complete 300 push-ups every day. But I will say this challenge was a test of being able to be mentally focused, responsible with structure each and every day. I'm gonna take you guys through the journey and uh, you guys see what you think and see my progress. Let's get it. <music> So like we all do in the beginning of we're doing a challenge, we're like, yeah, I'm going to make sure I do these 300 push-ups every day, you know, I'm gonna make sure I do it. So one of the things I told myself, I was like, I wanted some accountability because that makes everything easier. It makes everything, you need somebody to be able to hold you accountable. So I texted one of my homeboys and I was like, yo, bro, like, can you hold me accountable and jump in the challenge with me? He was like, cool, you know what I'm saying? So we started doing the 300 push-ups a day together. We actually were texting each other throughout the day, like, hey, when we finished 100, we would send like a emoji of like a green check to let each other know like, okay, cool. Like, you know, we, we did it. And that would let the other know to kind of be like, all right, you know, get on your stuff, like, make sure you finish it. <laughs> so there's a method to the madness, I would say. And how I actually got to doing 300 push-ups a day or found my rhythm, was I would do 100 in the morning, 100 in the middle of the day, and then I would do 100 more than likely before I went to bed. So, and I would always split the push-ups up. So I would do 25, maybe like when I first wake up, or maybe 50. And then I would turn around and I would do another 25, another 25, and then I was at 100. And so I knew where I was at. And a lot of times it's about mine. So I just went, you know, I would really went like 25, 25, 25. And a lot of times I would get to my goal quicker because I was just thinking about it, like only got 25 more to go, you know? So of course, just doing push-ups isn't gonna cut it, you know? Like, I didn't, I actually really lost about, maybe about eight pounds going to the gym and doing push-ups. But I mixed in the push-ups with my workouts at the gym. So after maybe I finished a particular set, I would go back and then I would start, uh, do, do about 10 push-ups, then maybe do about 15 and then go back and maybe do another set of whatever I was doing at the time. And I would just keep up with the number in my head. So I would do 10 push-ups and then go back and maybe do something else, do another 10, do another 15. And really, but by the time I finished my workout, I had already done about maybe 200 push-ups. So some days when I did a workout, it made it a little bit easier. Now guys, I would be Superman if I was to sit here and tell you that I didn't have struggle days. I didn't get tired. I was just able to do these push-ups all the time and not ever like, you know, fall short some days. There were some days I fell short, some days maybe I got, you know, maybe 260, you know, when I needed 40 more. And it's just, those just happen sometimes. But the thing is to stay consistent. And it, then you reach a block where it's even hard to stay consistent some days too. Real talk, I'm gonna let y'all know something. Like, this is about to be my, what? This is about to be my, second day truck excuse me second day trying to miss doing the 300 push-ups and it's so hard bro it's uh it's juneteenth weekend so i know y'all remember when y'all see this video y'all gonna remember that this was a hard week you know just going out really just celebrating you know us being free so it's just it's been difficult but you still really because i just did i just did me a quick 25 it's, it's difficult, man, but it's really a mind over matter thing. You really gotta, really gotta put in that work even when you don't feel like it. And I'm really, this with this challenge is really challenging me to stay consistent with doing these push-ups, and it's so hard because I hadn't done but 50 today. But I'm gonna try to. I told myself I wasn't gonna miss another day. So we're gonna try to knock 300 out, basically, right now until I go to bed. So, let's get it. So just a 
quick update. We're at, today is the 22nd. So we're a little over halfway through the challenge. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I missed about two days. Cause you know, when, at the time you're seeing this, this is gonna be like last month, but Juneteenth just passed. So Juneteenth weekend was crazy. All right, it was crazy. So, um, you know, I had a good little time. So I missed a couple of days doing my push-ups. I actually really didn't even go to the gym for a few days, but we're back at it. And today I'm gonna combo back, chest and biceps and I have to still do cardio. So this is what discipline is all about. And for the day I am at 150 push-ups. So 150 more to be at the 300 goal a day. So. We all fail at the challenges, you know, we not fail, but we all sometimes don't, we miss the mark, but you just gotta keep fighting through it, fight. And so I fought. I did my 300 pushups that day and I comboed doing back and chest in the same workout. I was at the gym for quite a while, but I knew it was something that I had to do. You know, I was trying to commit as much as I could to the goal. And then, you know, things happen. Okay guys, so I did miss the 24th, which was yesterday. Um, today is Wednesday. The reason I missed it is because I was feeling horrible after working out, like after I worked on legs and guys, I'm not even gonna, just full transparency. My legs are weak. So I'm just working hard to get my legs more strong, more strengthened, however you wanna say it. And I had like a huge, horrible headache turns out I took my temperature and my temperature was a hundred point two it was crazy it was that way last night yesterday and this morning then I took ibuprofen so you know you know what that means your boy had to go get tested to see if I had COVID so I'm waiting for that to come back I'm gonna still do my push-ups today at house while I'm quarantining like for real for real now so we're gonna see how that works all right, so guys, I did officially find out that I do have COVID and I had to rest for a few days, you know, I really didn't want to. Um, and I actually started to fall behind on my pushups. You know, I think being at home, realizing you have to be at home for X amount of days is, it sucks, you know. Um, for a couple of days, I missed some more. Um, actually on my calendar, I'll show you. If we even look at my calendar for the month of June, when I found out that I started not feeling good, um, it was around the 25th. It was the 25th and I missed all those days. And then I started back yesterday on, and I started trying to do a hundred and then on and so forth. I'm just trying to get back to really getting in the flow. I do want to finish out the challenge uh, to my end date. Um, it sucks, but you know what? I mean, I feel a whole lot better. Um, I think I was affected like with most of the symptoms, maybe the first three days. So now I'm just trying to get back into a flow of things and still continue to, you know, do some exercises at home, you know, because you can't never stop. You can't ever quit. Even though I tried my best to do push-ups while I was quarantined, I was honestly just too tired and had body aches and fatigue. So I ended up having to stop the challenge a little bit early. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, I still was able to finish out the goal and still see some results. And I lost about eight pounds. So I was kind of happy with that. But, you know, now it's time to get back in the gym and really get to those goals now that I'm 100%. All right, so guys, you just saw pretty much my whole journey for the last 30 days doing the push-ups. I actually think that, uh, you know, I think my chest looks kind of good now. Um, I'm actually like feeling pretty good. I actually moved to now, I think I'm gonna start doing 100 push-ups a day. You guys let me know if you wanna see a challenge like this, or I think maybe you guys should try it too. And let me know, if you follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, let me know that you, maybe you decide to try the challenge. But for now on, we're gonna do 100 push-ups a day. So let's get it. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that like button. It's your boy, Trey.